What's poppin' peeps? So in this video, we're covering the most profitable Facebook ad placement. And as you can see on my screen right here, I'm talking about 1200 by 1200 photo post. I'm gonna show you in the ad account in a second here, all the features that Facebook gives you and why you should not be using them. So let's get into it. 1200 by 1200 photo post or a 1200 by 1200 video post. I'm gonna show you how to quickly set that up right now. Key points, clear image of the product, a unique angle, something that catches the, the, the people's eye when they're scrolling through the newsfeed because we only set up on newsfeed. I'm gonna show you that as well. And uh, why you do not want uh, click through buttons, the CTA buttons on your ads. So Facebook gives you this new option. You do not want that. So let's get into it. I'm gonna head over to my ad account right here. So when you're setting up a campaign, you go over on the ads tab and you can choose your ad. So let's, let's create an ad or I'll just duplicate this one that's in there and I'll show you real quick. So if I'm gonna edit this ad, you choose your fan page obviously and right here where it says create ad, they're gonna give you all these options, add with image and video, add with multiple carousel, add collection. You could do canvas ads, full screen canvas. You can do slideshows. All of this, I do not use. I recommend you also do not use it if you're just getting started. There's a, play, there's a time and a place for some of this stuff, but it is not when you're setting up a brand new campaign from scratch and you want the best result. You do not wanna use any of these features. So what do you click on? You go over here and there's a little box up here. They, ha they hide it because they don't want you to use it. It's very important that you find this that says create ad and then choose existing post. So you could post a, a pay, uh, an ad on your fan page and you could promote that through ads manager or power editor. But sometimes you want to create ads that are not published on your page. And those are called dark posts. You can actually have a existing post on your page that's not visible when you go to your page and you can actually run ads to that and that's what this is existing page post it's not an ad it's a page post that you're promoting with conversion ads or post page engagement objective this is the only uh, ad placement that i use and the only type of ad that i use it's a 1200 by 1200 this is what it will look like it catches your eye it shows you what the product is and i use very very simple uh, ad copy and very very simple link and I'm going to show you that in the next video how to set up that link the best way but here this is what the ad looks like and what else you want to do is oh let me let me show you the two ways to set this up so you're under existing posts and you can just here click this plus button create new page post so you click on that and it's going to let you create a new post right here, save unpublished post, right? Then once you actually review your campaign and publish your campaign and it goes in for ad review, that's when the ad will be published, but it will be a dark post. The, another way that you can set up this ad and you could enter the post ID right here, right? If you already had it set up is if you go over here, so ads manager, all tools, and then go down to page post right here under create and manage page post. And then you're under here. This is page post right here. Then all you do is just cr press create, choose photo. Well, if that works, create here, choose photo, choose your photo here, type in your, your, your stuff, which will be, if you follow my, my rules, uh, let's preview this, which will be this, like this want one or something very short and similar. The link, the little arrow, the link, very, very simple. This gets a very good click-through rate. Simple people do not get confused. There's not like four links on there. That's what you don't want to have a ton of text. Just very, very simple um, ad copy. And then here, you just type that same stuff here. Uh, you can put your emoji in here, choose your photo. Use this only for an ad. And then see this one, also published through page later. No, you don't do that one. So this will make it a dark post right here, create post. And then it's gonna give you a little ad ID. See, see this ID right here? Then you copy that, you go over to your ads manager when you're setting up your ad and I'll show you that. Then you type it in right there, edit post ID and just hit submit. And then this image right here will change to the post ID 
or this post ad will change to the post ID of the one you just set up under the page post. But you can use this right here. This is fine too. No problem. So what else do you need to know about the best ad placement? The best ad placement is when you're going to, now we're on the ad set tab, right? Let's open this up. Best ad placement. So I just showed you the best ad type, 1200 by 1200 uh, photo post. Now I'm gonna show you the best placement, which is, in my opinion, you can choose whatever countries you want. I run most of the US right now. And so what you want is down here, edit placements, okay? Mobile only, okay? Then Facebook feeds, get rid of Insta articles, get rid of Instagram, get rid of audience network, get rid of messenger, uncheck everything except for Facebook feeds, mobile only, and you will have the most likely of success running this type of uh, ad. 1200 by 1200 photo posts, mobile newsfeed only, and I guarantee you'll have a more likely chance of having a winning campaign take off with less ad spend using this method. Guys, I hope this helps. I wanted to give you a tactile, something that you can actually use and when you're running around creating ads and they give you so many options, you get confused, you don't know what you're, you're doing, you're testing this, you're testing that, and you're wasting money. I wanna make sure that you're setting up your ads correctly, and this is the way to do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next video where I show you another awesome technique for setting up your fan page, your Facebook ad, or anything that has to do with selling custom products on Facebook, guys. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.